Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very well. Today, we're going to be doing the 10,000 subscriber Q&A, which uh, I promised you guys I'd do. So thank you very much. I made a community post and I got loads of questions. I got like 130 questions, which is kind of insane. So thank you very much for sending in the questions. I'm going to be answering a couple today, probably about 10 or 20. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much. And let's get into it. All right, then. First question is from Maurice, and they say, why don't you update Obby Creator weekly now? There's no new projects or stuff. Yeah, so I used to update Obby Creator weekly. If you guys, I don't know if any of you remember that. That was quite, that was quite a long time ago. I found that doing it every week was a little bit too much for me. I got really burnt out really quickly. And so when I do two weeks, it means for the first week or half of the first week, I can kind of chill a little bit. And then for the second week, usually that's when I'm doing the update. Uh, which then I get out that week. Next question is from 70OJ, and they ask, do you have a favorite movie, and if so, what is it? Honestly, I watch loads of movies. <laughs> Every evening, I'm watching something, you know, YouTube. Um, I've been watching Loki recently on Disney+, Plus because we got Disney+, Plus. that is really good. So we've been watching Loki every Wednesday, and also A Benedict Society every Friday. But recently, I've been watching all the Marvel movies, so I'd say the Marvel movies are really good. Um, and then there's some generally good movies like Inception and Martian, which I will always remember because they're really good movies, but I don't know if they're necessarily my favorite. Next question, the Mad Moth GT says, why is your name Mario? <laughs> yeah, that's not actually my real name. If uh, anyone thinks that, that's, that's not my name. My real name is Jacob. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, so if you're not from the UK, you might not know where 118118 comes from. It's basically this insurance company <laughs> that that is 118118 money. I don't know. I just really enjoyed the adverts. They have they have like these really stupid adverts with two people with mustaches, and I always found them funny as a kid. So that's why it's 118118. And the Mario section, yeah, I really liked playing Mario Kart when I was younger. So a little bit of trivia. My first Roblox account is called Mario Kart 118118. You can still find it still today. I think I created it in January of 2012. That was like my first account. And then I shortened it to Mario 118118. But obviously back then you couldn't change your username. So I created a new account. And so that's why my name is called Mario Monet Monet. 70 OJ says, what was your first Roblox creation? That is a good question. I'm gonna have to, hold on, let's go back. I'm gonna have to look back here. All right then, this is the Oof training place. I guess we're in an easy obby. So this was made, when was this made? This was made back in 7 slash 11 slash 2012. So that is the 11th of July, 2012. So I would have been, that's nine years ago. I would have been 10. Looks like I just got given, <laughs> I just got given a front flip tool. Hey! Oh! <laughs> so I think this was all made with like a different terrain system. Oh, I lost a leg. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> After this stage, there's just nothing. It just goes into a wall. There you go. That's my, f that's the first game, apparently. <laughs> what a great game. Okay. The next question is from Roko the Good, and they say, will you ever start developing Tag or The Beast again? I don't know how many of you remember that era, but yeah, I had a couple of other games on Whirlpool. One of them was called Tag, uh, and then The Beast was, I was basically trying to make my version of Darkness. I don't know if you guys played that game. Um, it was quite big back in, must have been like 2014. Uh, it's a game by Loloris. Very fun game, used to play it in 2014. But yeah, The Beast was, was my version of that. Uh, the answer to your question is no. <laughs> Tesco EXE asks, what would your ideal geopolitical strategy for for world conquest be? We attack from the east. If we get the hills fast, we can have a high ground advantage, which will give us an early lead. We'll spread disinformation across the globe. We'll cause fear, unrest. We'll turn countries against each other. Like puppets, we can control how the future will be. We can decide our own fate. But we must act fast. We must complete world domination as quickly as possible. Once we control the main cities, the rest will fall. There will be no stopping us. Zik says, how do you feel about Obby Creator becoming popular and what is your opinion about the community behind it? I, I didn't really expect Obby Creator to become this popular. It first went to like 5,000 players. I took like photos of myself. I was, it was so great. I love seeing all the different uh, contraptions and buildings that you guys make. So I think it's really cool. 
I think overall, Obby Creator has been a pretty positive community. I haven't seen much negativity, which I think is really cool, and I hope it stays that way. Obby Creator Showcases says, kind of weird question, but what is your opinion on this model trading economy that popped up due to the pre-made update and people are trying to sell in-game models for Robux? It's not good. <laughs> uh, you know, it's against Roblox Terms of Service, so... I don't condone people selling in-game items for Robux. If you get banned for that, you did break rules, and I don't recommend anyone does that. If you do know anyone that is doing that, please let me know because I will ban them. Uh, a random on the internet says, when did you first decide to start developing games? Honestly, <laughs> I've, been, I've been on Roblox for so long. I'll give you guys a little bit of a background. I joined Roblox, I think it was at the end of 2011. Um, and I played on a friend's account. My friend at the time introduced me to Roblox when I was around his house. He had it on his laptop and he was like, oh, this was a cool building game. And I think we almost immediately started developing games, but I wouldn't say it was like developing, right? Back then, if you guys haven't been on Roblox for that long, back then, when you went to play a game, you clicked on the game, right? It said play, and then underneath it, it said build. It was like a separate version. It was, you went into a Roblox server, but when you're in there, you had building tools, so you could place, you know, you could like build with terrain. Back then, it was so easy just to click build and just be building. So I don't know if that's really developing. When do I call it making games like properly developing, right? I was probably messing around with games. What well, you guys saw earlier, I was messing around making that random obby thing back in 2012, July of 2012. So you could say it's then getting into studio and actually making stuff. That was probably more like 2014. When did I actually properly like properly get into it? That's probably like 2017 because that's when Two Player Secret Highlight Tycoon probably blew up. Black Blocks has given me like 10 questions, so I'll answer these really quickly. Uh, is Obby Creator basically your full-time job? Yes, making games is pretty much my full-time job at the moment. It's all my income, and so that's what I do. How much revenue do you make from Obby Creator? I'm not going to tell you now, but if you are interested in money and the money side of things, I'll probably be doing a video towards the end of the year or the start of next year talking about this year, how much money I made, that kind of thing. So if you are interested in that, I think it's an interesting topic. I love talking about money and things. Um, subscribe what's your biggest achievement on the roblox platform probably obby creator i don't really know one day i'd like to have like a bloxy award um i'd love to have some bigger youtubers play my games what's the hardest part of becoming a developer it just takes a lot of time um there's also an aspect of luck so you have to spend a lot of time making games in order to kind of get half an idea of what you're doing <laughs> started making games in, in 2012 kind of and so i think it just takes a long time with with anything right if you want to become a youtuber you've got to spend a lot of time if you want to become a doctor you've got to spend a lot of time so it, it's just time and a little bit of luck will the obby creator lobby ever be changed or remastered maybe but probably not who is your favorite member of obby studio me <laughs> matters god says room reveal And, uh, and is any Mario merch coming soon? Probably not in the future, but I think I'm just not big enough. Simon on Roblox says, when did Obby Creator start? How did you get the idea? How did you find developers? And how did the game become great? <laughs> well, thanks very much. I'm glad that you think it's great. I was thinking about Obstacle Paradise and games similar to that where you build obbies. And I thought, it's not very customizable. Let me try and make a game where you can make whatever you want. How did I find developers? Uh, it's just me. I just work on the game. I obviously have people like translators, music composers, and I hired people to make the logo, but all the developing and things are, that's me. That random dude, lol, says, do you only know how to code in Lua or have you learned to program in other languages such as Python, Java, C Sharp, etc.? Mainly Lua and then second Python, then third JavaScript, then fourth Visual Basic. I could probably say like one line. <laughs> PG3D Gaming says, how do you learn scripting? Uh, well, it was very different back when I learned scripting, right? I was just putting together things when I was a kid and I thought, you know, I put in a door and I thought, how do I make this door turn red when it's open? I just kind of learned by, oh, I want to make it red. How do I do that? So I just opened the script, saw a bit that said yellow and was like, oh, maybe if I just change that to red, it will work. And it did. And so that was kind of just how I learned how to program for most of the time, because back then there wasn't too many tutorials. But nowadays, if you want to learn how to code in Roblox, I'm not saying it's easier, but there's a lot more tutorials and things, right? You've got Alvin Blocks, you've got the developer hub, which I use a lot to look at 
the API, you've got the developer forum where loads of people have tutorials and ask different kinds of questions and you can ask questions if no one else has asked them. There's a lot of ways to learn, but me personally, I just enjoy finding free models and then looking through the code and finding out how they work. The next question is from 70OJ again. Uh, they say, did you ever think Obby Creator was going to blow up? No, that random dude says, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Roku the Good says, what is your favorite animal? Uh, I watched a documentary the other day and it had a Nautilus in it from the deep sea and they look so cool. They propel themselves around by squirting water and like water pressure. Just go, psh, psh, like they're like a little mini submarine. <laughs> I, I think they're so funny. I love those, but uh, I don't really know if they're my favorite animal. There's Awesome Tubers says, what did the first Obby Crater version look like? Uh, I'll show you guys on screen. Here's a clip, you're watching a clip from one of the, this is basically the first video I have of Obby Crater. You can see how old it looks and how different it looks. This is basically the first first working version I had. Uh, and that's that's what it looks like. It's come a really long way. LOL XD 48 says, what's your favorite drink? I kind of just drink water. <laughs> I'm really lame. I just drink water. If I'm out or like going to the cinema or something, I'll get like Fanta. <laughs> Fishy Stick says, if Obby Crater ever has a falling out, where would you go from there? Which I assume means if Obby Creator doesn't have any players on it anymore. The good thing about making Roblox games and really anything like YouTube or Roblox, that kind of thing, it never really, doesn't really ever die. My other game, Two Player Secret Highlight Tycoon, which has been around since, it blew up a little bit in 2017. And ever since then, it's been just pretty much like, it was pretty high and now it's just like, if they do go down, they go down pretty slowly, which is really good. I'll probably have other games to work on at that point. 79Q says, can the money you earn from building and developing games help you a lot in real life or do you only do it for fun? And are you planning on making any new games? Yes is the answer to does making games, is that my life and my job? I did obviously start doing it for fun and then eventually it started adding me money, so very cool. And am I planning on making any new games? As I said, I'm working on a different game in the background, uh, but I'm always working on something in the background. So most likely you guys won't see what it is and it will never come to be a thing, but maybe it, it won't this time. <laughs> hey, who knows? And final question is again from 70OJ. I appreciate you for giving me all these questions. Uh, what music do you listen to and who is your favorite artist? Uh, recently, I've been listening to 21 Pilots. That's kind of who I've been playing a lot recently. Before that, I was listening to Palfu and similar artists. Um, the good thing is I have a YouTube music subscription, which I use in the background of streams, but I also use YouTube music when I'm working and just when I'm listening to music. YouTube has a really good algorithm, right? It kind of knows what you're gonna like. And so I'm kind of constantly moving through different artists because it kind of suggests things and, and then you realize, oh, I really like this. So I was listening to Palfu and I still really like all of that kind of song, like lo-fi and hip hop, like Eminem and, and things like that. Uh, but at the moment I'm listening to 21 Pilots, but give it a couple of weeks and I'll I'll probably be listening to something else. <laughs> and there you go. Those are the, uh, those are all the questions. Thanks very much everyone for asking me questions. I really appreciate you guys. And I want to say thank you very much for the, uh, for the 10,000 subscribers. Talking about subscribers, are you subscribed? Cause if you're not, I only, I think like 30% of people are subscribed. So you should, you should subscribe. <laughs> Please leave feedback in the comments for videos and things. I want to start doing a video every week. So this is what you're watching now. I did a video last week, unboxing tilt trophies, which you should watch if you haven't. It's up there, so watch it.